This is how you take care of the place for the dogs? Your jeans were pulled out of the, out of the ashes of your own negligence, your own stupidity, your own short-sightedness. To take care of dogs. And this is how you take care of them. You turn them into your food. This is the only thing you can find to eat to survive and thrive. It's your cousins. I guess you don't, uh, you don't know about prions. You'll learn. Just about the time you're losing it. Hey. Yeah. Maybe we'll give you some star in here, eh? Yeah, really disappointing monkeys. But then, you know, your relatives were... Let me try that again. Your relatives were extremely nuked, so... Uh, I mean, the stock from which you were cleaved. The clay from which you were molded. Cindy, don't move. I almost got her. Yeah, I think right under that patch of clouds there. I think, uh, I think that'd be Anas Anarchist there. Yep. So that would be the east northeast flank of Anarchist Mountain. Good thunder here just plopped over, so maybe we're gonna get some good start. <clears throat> I think Earth's trying to give back now. Oh, so there. Hey guys. Peace out, guys. Peace up. Peace up. Peace up. Peace up. Peace up. And live now. Serve life out into the universe. Sure did do a shit job on the dogs. I don't know. Maybe I'll get some help by them eventually. They're 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 pretty loving, forgiving kind of beings, you know. At least I've always found them to be. Right, guys. Um, quite more, um, um, willing of sentient, cooperating individuals in their pack mentality, pack society, which is not as peer pressure oriented as humans, but they don't intentionally traumatize and subjugate each other systematically and institutionally. Uh, for the sake of convenience of exploitation at the careless expense of um, effectiveness and potential. Which, you know, even the parasite was half, but didn't have worms in the brains of his worms with worms in their brains with worms in their brains uh, would, you know, do the math and say, well, that means there would be, you know, more to be a parasite on and try and feast that way. But, no, they look at it a different way. Uh -oh. We can only crawl because we're worms. So, you know, if anything under our iron fist, our Romulan fist, is, uh, can crawl, well, then we can't compete with them. <coughs> Okie dokie. Lost three there. You too? <sighs> I, I 
guess we're just not beasts like you guys. You guys, uh, you, you guys think they'll, um, they'll get any more help from doggons? I mean, that, that, that was the deal. That was the whole precept. Earth Dog said, yeah, you can bring your dogs here too. Go ahead, you know, they're, they're gonna perish if you try and, uh, you know, bring, they want to repopulate some of the Earth Dogs because they never had any and we brought them Earth Dogs. So they were brought back Earth Dogs. <clears throat> and we're prepared to try and intervene but, you know, it's, uh, well, who's to judge them on this day with, on here, say, I'm sure whatever they did with you guys, they did, and, um, brought you back to, you know, rain until the end of the 13th back to, and it's supposed to be up, up there, up there. Right, uh, up there, serving life. Right, right there, up there, up there, up there, serving life. Shit, you should have been by 1984, that's for sure. Hey, well, peace up, peace up, to, up and outward to the heavens. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. Maybe you, maybe you'll earn some merits back and some love. Especially you guys in Cambodia and China, you got a lot of dog blood to wash out of your lands. You take that for whatever it means. <clears throat> I wouldn't be helping you. This is why you can come and kill off and eat the rest of the vestiges of dog kind in the nearby star systems needlessly completely needlessly and horrendously you're going to torture us and beat us to death in front of our own kind while they sit there and watch and try not to rip your face off and then you're gonna burn the last bit of life out of them on a barbecue needlessly because that's the limits of your ability to manage other life and you want to go out and take over other worlds. Not terraform worlds, because that takes effort. You want to go conquer and steal and eat everything and have domain over it. Life worlds that were already fine, left on their own, whoever's put effort into them, and you're going to gobble them all up. Not because you have to, but, well, yeah, what the fuck, you know, because it's there. No, not, not ready to be serving life. That's serving death and destruction out into the universe. That's, that's no better than being a Romerican. Clearly, you are all suffering severely from Romulan and Vulcan intervention and mind meld and psychogenics and pre-programming and what? Dogs. Dog knows what else. But that's, um, that's your privy to figure out, and you don't got much fucking time to do it. Um, because of the way you guys evolve. Total apathy, like, laid fuck to the earth. Above, <laughs> below, and on the surface, and, you know. Uh, oh, you get my point. I mean, the earth wouldn't let you go, uh, Space Lord Lackey would be shot of shit that should go. Well, probably by you and then eat, you know. How much for this old space dog? Yay, one of the kind. The first one to ever make heaven and and have, have, have uh, Homo sapiens uh, domain. You know, it'd be like that last nun Fukushima tuna or whatever. I don't know. You guys are fucked. I, I, I don't see you lasting much longer with an attitude like that. You better figure out whatever the fuck was done to ruin you because you're not really like that and you don't have to be like that. And you better fucking get it. <clears throat> and I'm sure once you, once you get your heads out of your asses, you know, go with the bendy over thing um, and um, get with that last single, like I said, there were ten 
then you couldn't handle it, there were two, now you got one, serve life out into the universe as in get the fuck off of Earth, all oh, yes. Kick you out of nest time. Get, get, get going or go extinct. <clears throat> and whether or not the Earth recovers, you'll have that eternal shame burning in your memory as having become the abominations, the genetic mutations of the desolation that you caused and all the life matrix you were allowed to inflict upon um, before you shut yourselves with wads of your own shit and self extincted Not, not waiting for nature to do it like all the other stupid beasts, like the dinosaurs. The dogs, they won passage. They've gone to other worlds. And they don't even have hands, eh? How did they do it? It showed sentience and a great benefit to not just other mammals, but other kind, and by merit. <clears throat> the love they generate, like, the, I don't know, like creativity, like making a beautiful song and what they couldn't do themselves. Well, that's the homo sapien condition. That's, that's something for you all to work on. Just, you've got nothing else to do, so you know, you're obviously not going to let yourselves escape this gravity well. Hey. Well, I won't bother you with the live long and prosper part anyhow, but you know, well, well, live and prosper anyhow, fairly, you know, not at, at the expense of others, other beings, other creatures, especially needlessly, you know, when you got no need to kill another, but because it's fun, then you got a mental deficit that nature's going to know it's out, and you'll, because you didn't fix yourself. You know, nature hit you with this and you went that way and, you know, life was that way and continuance. And... All right, well, <clears throat> maybe your example will be left behind even if it's a shit one, you know, for others to know. Don't, don't be like this guy. Don't be like Grimm's. Or, well, I don't know, Homer hasn't, well, I guess he has died a couple of times, but anyhow. Hey, peace out, y'all.